Our next guest wants to challenge the notion that you are what you eat. He's dropped seven kilos, lost 2% of his body fat, and he's done it all living only on McDonald's. For an entire month, Ryan Williams gorged on greasy wow. fast food. I know, to prove successful diets are less about quality control and more about calorie control. Mm. Would you like fries and a six pack with that? We've all heard that junk food and fitness don't mix, but that's not true, according to British Posty slash bodybuilder Ryan Williams. Remember the doco Super Size Me? At the end of this month, I'll have eaten as much McDonald's as most nutritionists say you're supposed to eat in eight years. Back in 2004, American filmmaker Morgan Spurlock munched on Maccas for 30 days and gained a whopping 12 kilos. He was consuming 5,000 calories a day without doing any exercise. Williams wanted to disprove the Super Size Me doco and show it's not what you eat, it's how much. This is a month for McDonald's, a 30-day McDiet. He set his own challenge, get into shape after a month of McDonald's. From McFlurries to McNuggets, nothing was off limits. He had to eat everything on the menu at least once. Ryan also went to the gym for one hour a day. The result? He's seven kilos lighter, lost 2% body fat, and he's loving it. Isn't this fascinating? Ryan Williams joins us now from Bristol in the UK. Mate, uh, good morning to you. Seven kilos. Good morning, guys. Pretty amazing by itself in just a month. Tell me, have you had Maccas since finishing the challenge? OK, so I'm going to be very honest. No, I haven't. Right, you got sick of it. Well, as you would. Do you know what I, I had? <laughs> it, was, it wasn't as bad as what you'd think. It was a fairly enjoyable month. Um, I've been away on holiday the past couple of weeks, so I've been somewhat oblivious to some of the chaos that's gone on. Um, but thank you very much for having me on this morning. Right. Mm, that's okay. It's, it's quite interesting what you've done here. So, what what was it about the Super Size Me experiment all those years ago that you disliked so much that you wanted to do this? I'll be honest with you. I did. I did like the documentary. I thought it was it was good. It was entertaining. Uh, but the fact that ever since the documentary, uh, almost 15 years ago, um, McDonald's has got a very bad reputation. Uh, there's a stigma attached to McDonald's that if you eat McDonald's you will become overweight and um, as a lot of fitness guys will know it is more of a, a calories in versus calories out right. thing um, there's no such thing as bad food it's just how you go about incorporating it into your diet so uh, that was my mission I wanted to to eat McDonald's the same as Morgan Spurlock um, and he did it to raise awareness of obesity I wanted to uh, uh, aware people of um, the, yeah. the calorie Cal aspect when it comes to dieting. Okay. Yeah. All right, so like they say in Sesame Street, sort of McDonald's can be a sometimes food, and you're, you're proving that. So how much McDonald's did you eat every day, and then you trained for an hour, didn't you, every day? That's correct, yes. Yeah. So I started the, the challenge with the recommended daily calorie amount for the average male, uh, which is 2,500 calories. And for me, being an active guy, being a postman, going to the gym, uh, that would put me in a slight deficit. And that deficit means that I would be in a, a weight loss um, zone. So uh, from doing this, uh, from 2,500 calories, I know that people um, could relate to it because it's not something so extraordinary like 5,000 calories supersize me mm. um, and each each week from week one I did drop the calories a little bit each week okay uh, to add to the Hang on, so tell us what 2500 calories is in McDonald's is it one Big Mac or two or three or how many do you know what I honestly thought when I started this I thought it would be yeah like one Big Mac maybe a salad and some nuggets but you'd be surprised as to what you can actually get within that calorie range I was mm. eating I was eating a fair amount of food the first day I did spill slightly over my calories but generally speaking I did feel full I did, did feel satisfied and I compared to other diets I wasn't feeling uh, too run down and too hungry it was it wasn't it was probably the easiest diet I've actually done mm. and I've done a lot of diets over the years I hope your yeah. insides are okay yeah <laughs> it's good that you yeah. feel good but yeah there's a lot of salt I mean, and stuff in all of that so 
You're right. I mean, I never pushed this as a as a healthy way of living. I mean, my my purpose for this was to uh, enlighten people as to uh, calories and the importance of counting calories when it comes to weight loss. Yeah. I mean, we've we've got Christmas coming up, then the New Year. Everyone's going to be on their New yeah. Year New Me diets. Everybody, everybody's going to be doing these fad diets. And a couple of weeks in, they're going to feel run down. They're going to yeah. feel like giving up. They're going to go to Macca's, and when they go to Macca's, they're going to feel like they've ruined their diet. They're going to feel uh, down, depressed, and they're just going to give their diet up. So I kind of wanted to enlighten people that you can incorporate the foods you enjoy okay. and still lose weight. Yeah. All right, mate, a really good point, and keep the activity up is yeah. the underlying thing as well.